WWE unveils new Performance Center recruits. Logan Paul says Vince McMahon is like a stepdad. Thunder Rosa is the brand new AEW Women's World Champion. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and we got a couple of new stories to get into here today. First and foremost, we're kicking things off with WWE sharing their brand new recruits to the Performance Center, which includes Roxy. Take a look. 14 new signees have joined the WWE Performance Center. The class is headlined by former Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Roxy, who has officially signed with WWE after taking part in two tryouts. The 20-year-old was trained by Booker T at his Reality of Wrestling school and is a former Reality of Wrestling Diamonds Division champion. Last September, Roxy won the ROH Women's World Championship by defeating Miranda Alizé in the finals of a tournament. Roxy lost the title to Deanna Perrazzo this January. WWE has also confirmed that Fallon Henley and Kayla Inlay, who have both already appeared on NXT, have signed with the company. As well as Bianca Corelli, the daughter of former WWE wrestler Santino Morella is also part of this group of signees. Bianca earned her bachelor's degree in biology from Western University and also has extensive training in MMA fighting with a focus on judo, jiu-jitsu, and boxing. The class consists of 14 people in total, including indie wrestlers Cole Carter, Nikita Knight, mother lover Jake Tucker, and the notorious Mimi. Well, congratulations to the new signees in WWE, but also congratulations are in order for Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa is now the first ever Mexican-born American AEW Women's World Champion after she defeated Britt Baker inside a steel cage at AEW Dynamite St. Patrick's Day Slam, which took place in her hometown of San Antonio, Texas. Take a look. Thunder Rosa is the new AEW Women's World Champion. In the main event of Dynamite, Rosa defeated Baker in a cage match after a fire thunder driver into thumbtacks. Weapons were used frequently throughout the match with Baker at one point falling into a pile of chairs off the top rope. The finish had Baker going for her locked jaw submission, but Rosa bit Baker's hand. Rosa slammed Baker's hand into the thumbtacks, dropped Baker with a power bomb, then planted her with her fire thunder driver to win the championship for the first time. This now ends Baker's run as AEW Women's Champion after 291 days defeating Hikaru Shida on May 30th at Double or Nothing. Following her victory, Thunder Rosa tweeted out, There are no words to describe how I feel. The love, the energy, the results of yesterday's match. I am blessed and I am thankful. I just know there is a lot of work to be done. Gracias a mi gente por este momento tan especial. Your new AEW Women's World Champion, Thunder Rosa. On top of this, I got to chat with Thunder Rosa and I asked her about what the division would look like if she were to become AEW Women's World Champion. Take a look at what she had to say. Some of the matches that I have envisioned and some of the things that I would love to do, uh, you know, when I was the NWA champion, I was a fighting champion. Like I went out everywhere. I defended that thing during COVID times. I found a way to make it relevant. And I want the AEW Women's Division to be... Uh, Kind of like just like Kenny Omega was doing, I would love to do something like that. I, I think we haven't had a champion like that. And I think I have what it takes to be that. I have the grit. I have the, the determination. I have the consistency. Um, like I said, everything is developing with Tanda Rosa. Like a lot of people uh, criticize me because they say I can't cut promos. You guys haven't seen the promos that I have cut because like on TV, things get edited and things change. I've been working so hard at my English too and my, uh, my dictation and, and, and my uh, how smart I sound. I'm not cursing as much in Spanish. I can really, really, when my time comes, if, if like I said, when the, in the sign and when I, when I become a champion, like I want you guys to see it. And, and like I said, my thought is when I achieve this, how am I going to make the division completely different? What, what is the difference that I'm going to make when I am become a leader of a locker room, you know, a real leader? That's what I'm, I've been working on for the last two years. How to become a real leader that, that leads with, with passion, with compassion, that is, is ready to take on challenges, that is ready to build other people up, that is ready to um, um, represent. This, I think this is the most important part, represent others instead of just representing 
me. Once again, congratulations to Thunder Rosa, but now we're gonna go ahead and shift gears into a sort of random story where Logan Paul says that Vince McMahon is kind of like a stepdad to him. Take a look. In an interview with TalkSport, Logan Paul spoke about potentially having a future in WWE past his match at WrestleMania 38. The social media and celebrity boxing star will make his in-ring debut as he teams with The Miz against Rey and Dominic Mysterio at WrestleMania 38, night one on Saturday, April 2nd. TalkSport asked Paul if he could see himself being in WWE full-time in the future after WrestleMania. Paul said that depending on how WrestleMania goes and if WWE makes sense with his schedule, he thinks it's probable. Logan Paul said, quote, I'm doing so much stuff and I have to really be careful where I allocate my energy. Also adding, but it's not my decision. It's up to the fans. Either they love me or hate me. That's great. But if they're indifferent to me, we got an effing problem and I'll probably get out of this sport. Logan Paul also spoke about his relationship with Vince McMahon during his interview with Talk Sports, saying that it's like McMahon is like a stepdad to him. He said, quote, Vince is like a stepdad to me. Does that make sense? He's like the guy you have a good relationship with, a firm handshake. How are you doing? I respect you. I'm glad to have you here. And it's just a really positive relationship. Paul also added, if I continue my involvement in WWE, hopefully I can bring stuff to the table that switches it up. I am an innovator and I'm always here to pitch ideas. And at the end of the day, I'm creative. If I can get more involved in the behind the scenes stuff with Vince's approval, that would be fun. Well, that's a wrap for today's news. But just to let you guys know, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. We are well on our way to over 100,000 subscribers and you can help us get there by clicking that subscribe button. Other than that, you can come chat wrestling with me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. And I'll see you on the next video. Before you head out, don't forget to check out some of our recent stories. And you can also check out my post show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, where I cover St. Patrick's Day Slam.